Hello, good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to check it out the agenda. The agenda for second grade is going to be welcome, reflection. We are going to sing a song and we are going to add out time to read the mystery of the missing dog. We are going to continue with this reading. The contents, the unit review, because we already finished the unit number three and we have to finish with the review that appears at the end of the um, his story that we taught the last class. In the practice book we are going to develop pages 43, 44 and 45 because there are the, the, the final pages from this unit. And finally we are going to have the part of question and answer. Remember that you can ask me on this on this time. And remember too that if you couldn't send me your evaluation from period number three, you can do it. You can do it. You are going to have the same grade. Thank you and let's continue. Everybody, today we are going to have a special class. We are going to announce the, the sun. We are going to continue with our reading, The Mystery of the Missing Dog, and we will finish our unit number three, our unit review. Please pay attention about the grammar rules that we are going to use it, and if it is possible, add out the sun. Remember, and practice the sun, because this is going to help us to pronounce better our English. Let's start. An Honest Boy once there was a very poor but honest boy named Paul. One day, the king visited Paul's small village, and the villagers all came out to greet the king. The king was giving away cookies and candy. Paul and the villagers crowded near the king's carriage to try to get some. Finally, the king got to Paul and gave him some candy. Paul was so excited, he rushed home to share the candy with his family. When Paul returned home, he noticed there was a beautiful ring among all the candy. He thought to himself that this ring could make him rich, and he and his family no longer had to worry about not having enough food to eat. After thinking about what to do all day, Paul decided to return the ring to the king. Paul went to the palace and returned the king's ring. The king was very thankful and said to Paul, This is my favorite ring. You are a very honest young man and I want to reward you with this gold. From that day, Paul was a very rich boy, and his family never went hungry again. Well, we are going to continue with our reflection. The reflection is going to be an advice that I will give to you. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. As young people, we have to understand that if we want to success, we have to take it or we have to work little by little. Many times we think that we are going to shine after the university or maybe we are going to have a big opportunity and sometimes we had but many times we have to take the stairs 
one step by step and then you are gonna you are gonna success and you are gonna check it out that you um, you are a star you shine for others by others for others and this is my reflection this is my advice remember we have to make the correct things on the correct way and this is gonna be an own success and we are gonna feel comfortable with us let's continue I continue with our class this is the time to sing the song uh, the children in the class is on page 103 of reading facts number two uh, before to start I want to tell you sorry but I want to tell you what is gonna be the, the, the exercise that we are gonna use stretch our arms and bend our legs bend our legs yes well we are gonna sing remember that when we sing it's gonna help us to pronounce better or English. Let's listen and sing. Let's listen. Stop. Let's listen and out out the sun. Let's sing. Remember, try to move. Healthy kids on healthy kids. Healthy kids from healthy kids. The children in the class, they stretch their arms, stretch their arms, stretch their arms. The children in the class, stretch their arms, because they are healthy kids. Healthy kids on healthy kids. The children in the class, they stretch their arms, bend their legs, bend their legs. The children in the class, they bend their legs, because they are healthy kids. Well, this is the sun of our reading packs. And remember that we have to make fitness every day. Or two or three times in a week if you want to be healthy. This is going to help us to be healthy. Well, let's continue with our class. Well, we are going to continue with the story about the mystery of the missing dogs. We are going to make a warm-up. The last class we were talking about Jake and Max. Max is the dog, Jake is the boy. And he woke up one morning, he woke up and he was looking for Max and he couldn't find him. Then he entered to the kitchen and asked to her mother, Mommy, I cannot find a Max anywhere, he says. And the mother says, I'm sure he's here somewhere, Jay. Why don't you get dressed and go look outside? And what is the pace that we stop? Today we are going to continue with pages 56, 57, and 58. But we are going to read again the last three pages that we read the last class. And we have to pay attention. Try to read with the track, please. Jake and Max are best friends. Max and Jake does. Max would even go to school with Jake, but everyone knows dogs aren't allowed at school. One morning when Jake woke up, something didn't feel right. Jake looked around. He couldn't find Max. Max, Max, Jake called out. But Max was nowhere to be found. Jake ran into the kitchen. Mom, I can't find Max anywhere. Jake's mom looked up from the newspaper. I'm sure he's here somewhere, Jake. Why don't you get dressed and go look outside? After getting dressed, Jake ran outside. Max wasn't there. Where could Max be? It was time to go to school. Jake! His... You'll miss the bus. Don't worry. Your dad and I will look for Max while you're gone. Jake asked the bus driver if he had seen Max. He hadn't. Jake asked all the kids if they had seen Max. They hadn't. 
On the way to school, Jake didn't talk much. He just looked out the window, hoping to see Max. Jake ran into his house after school. Mom, he called. Did you find him? Sorry, Jake. His mom answered. I can't find him anywhere. I made these posters. Let's go see if we can find him. Well, we already listen. We already read the three pages: fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Oh, we have a question for from one page. Each page. Uh, page 56. Look at the page. Look at the page and remember that we were reading, we already listened. It said, after getting dressed, Jay ran outside. Matt wasn't there. Where could Matt be? Listen my question. Where Jake's go? Where he goes in this time? To the supermarket? To the school? To the hospital? Or to the bed? Where he got? Hey, he was waiting for the bus, the school bus. He he has to go to the school. Very good. Well, Page 57, look at the picture, look at the picture, look at the, read the paragraph. Look at there. Look at the picture. Can you see Max? Where is Max? Where is Max? My question. Where is Max? As you can see there on the page 57 appears Max. But Jay couldn't see him because he's on the right of the bus and Max is on the left. But Max, it's on, on the street. Very good specifically on the sidewalk because it's the sidewalk well and finally page 58 page 58 what's the matter says to Jake what's the matter says to Jake or what she did it what she did what she create what she make? What's the matter make to find Max? She made a car. She made a poster. She took a picture. Remember that you can participate in my classes using the chat. Hey, she made a Poster, very good. Well, this is the class as you can see there. They didn't recognize Max. And it appears on page 58, page 58, that the male carrier is gonna touch Max, but I think that it is dirty or oh, dirty because it looks like brown color. And Max is why I don't know if it is Max. Next class, we are gonna discover where is the where is the dog? The mystery of the missing dog. Let's continue with our class. Well, we are going to continue with our student book. Today we are going to finish the page 46 and 47. And they are related with our unit number 3, the unit review. What we have here, listening and speaking. It says, look and circle your favorite food. What are you going to do? You are going to circle your favorite food. For example, pizza. It can be hot dog, it can be hamburger, etc. Starter, salad, chicken soup. What are starters? Well, you know that starters are entraditas. Yeah? Main dishes, plato principal, desserts, are, um, refrigerio, refrigerio and drinks, bebidas. Well, what are you going to do? 
let's circle, circle your favorite food. You can practice up your hand and look, uh, we are gonna uh, jump at this because I want to explain this. Look at activity one and role play. Hello, what do you want to eat today? I want a hamburger and a salad, please. When you go to a restaurant, you have to and know how are you gonna say what do you want and what do you want to eat well and finally what we have here we have to complete this gas check let's listen first and after we are gonna work in our student resource book let's go to track 32 Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, Lucy and Karen please let's listen This device is connected successfully. Listen. Track 32. Listen and complete. Good evening. Nice to see you here today. Thank you, Jay. We love this restaurant. What would you like for dinner, Karen? I want a hamburger and a glass of water, please. Okay. Karen wants a hamburger and a glass of water. Hamburger and a glass of water. Next. Okay. And you, Lucy? What would you like for dinner? I want a salad and pizza, please. And to drink? Apple juice, please. Well, she's going to eat more salad. Pizza and apple juice to drink. Fine. Mrs. Smith, what would you like today? I just want dessert. I would like a brownie, please. Okay, fine. And you, Mr. Smith? I would... Mrs. Smith, a brown. Like some soup, pasta, a salad, and ice cream, please. I am very, very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already listen. We are gonna listen one more time because I need to you identify what are they gonna eat. Yeah, what they want. Track listen. thirty-two. Listen and complete. Good evening. Nice to see you here today. Thank you, Jay. We love this restaurant. What would you like for dinner, Karen? I want a hamburger. And a glass of water, please. Okay. And you, Lucy? What would you like for dinner? I want a salad and pizza, please. And to drink? Apple juice, please. Fine. Mrs. Smith, what would you like today? I just want dessert. I would like a brownie, please. Okay, fine. And you, Mr. Smith? I would like some soup, pasta, a salad, and ice cream, please. I am very, very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Smith is very, very hungry. We have here that we have to watch the video number three, and we are going to work our student research book. But I want to explain the next page from a student book. What we have here, writing, read and attach the stickers. What we have here, we have the instructions to says how are we going to prepare um, um, a, a sandwich and not a ham and cheese sandwich because if you can read the, the, the um, ingredients, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, uh, you have to go to 3E, a student resource book, and complete this page and after write the receipt. That's all. And we are going to watch the video number three only to remember and to work our student research. Let's watch it. Well, this is the video number three. Let's watch it and then you are going to complete the student research book.
Campfire cooking. Do you like camping? Do you like cooking? Let's make some s'mores. They're delicious and they're easy to make. First, you need a campfire. Put a big marshmallow at the end of a stick and roast it on the fire. When the marshmallow is cooked, take it off the stick. Careful, marshmallows are very sticky. And put it on a biscuit. Add a piece of chocolate, cover with another biscuit. And enjoy! This s'more tastes delicious. So sweet and creamy. Does everyone like s'mores? Yes, they do. Happy camping! Well, have you washed it? It's a, a kind of food. It's a s'more. And what is a s'more? Um, it's a kind of fire food. It's only a biscuit and marshmallow and chocolate. But I want to explain this because you are going to confuse. You are going to ask me, what is a biscuit, teacher? Well, in British you know, English, biscuit is the same to says cookie. Yeah, the cookies. The cookies, we use the word cookies for American English and British English is biscuit, galleta. That's all. Well, we are going to finish our practice book today too. And what we have here, listen and complete the chart. Please pay attention. We are going to work on page 43. Remember, biscuit and um, cookies are the same. Love, lie, and don't lie. Love to happy faces, lie a happy face, and don't lie a sad face. Let's listen. Track 33. Be prepared with your practice book and active your ears. Let's listen. Track 33. Listen and complete the chart. Hello, Meg. Do you like steak? Yes, I do. I love steak. Well, as you can see the example, Matt says that she loves steak. For that reason, she has two happy faces. Do you like lettuce? No, I don't. Lettuce? No, I don't. You are going to draw a sad face here. Well, let's listen. Do you like french fries? Yes, I do. Do you like pineapple? No, I don't. Hi, Jack. Hello. Do you like steak? No, I don't. Do you like lettuce? Yes, I do. Do you like french fries? No, I don't. Do you like pineapple? Yes, I do. I love pineapple. Hello, Tom and Sue. Hello. Do you like steak? Yes, we do. Do you like lettuce? Yes, we do. We love lettuce. Do you like french fries? No, we, we don't. don't. Do you like pineapple? No, we, we don't. don't. As you can see before, they say yes I do when it's only one. And yes or no we don't because they are two. Well, this is the listening part. What are you going to do here? You are going to, um, you will 
complete this look and match. Does make like frame fries? I remember that she said yes I do. Yes I do. And this case is gonna be a girl. Yes she. Yes she. Yes she does. Yeah. Read and circle and number the pictures. She don't like or she doesn't like beans. She doesn't like beans. Is the correct way to say it. A ella no le gustan los frijoles. She doesn't like beans. Circle the words doesn't like. And this is the number one. Number two. The, they like or likes grapefruit. They like or they likes grapefruit. They like grapefruits without S is the number two. Number three, they don't like or they, they doesn't like rice. Well, is they don't like, they don't like rice is the number three. And number four, he like or he likes spinach. Well, is he likes spinach with S. It's the number four. Well, and then we have this page. Look and complete the sentences. This is for singular and this are for plural. Ah, pancakes. Plural. This pancakes look good. Look at the happy face. This or this. This fish looks bad. Look and label. I'm sorry, but I am running because... If if I am taking more time, we are gonna have a big, very big class. Look and label. What do you think that is this? It's for breakfast, dinner, or lunch. Lunch. Dinner. Breakfast. Let's check it out. Let's check it out if we are okay. Do they complete the answer? What's for breakfast? A bowl of toss and grapefruit juice. Let's check it out. A bowl of cereal. Very good. What's for lunch? A cheese sandwich meal and a Pear. Sorry, this is for lunch, and this is dinner, and this is breakfast. Dinner, lunch, breakfast. What's for dinner? Ah, dinner is. Mm -hmm. Corn, peas, and chicken. Very good. And finally, the last page. And scrub all the word in match. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Jelly. Jelly. Bread. Bread. What are you going to do? Look at the ingredients. Ham. Cheese. Peanut or mayonnaise. And bread. And here you are going to number the picture. Well, this was the class. Remember, if you couldn't send me the homework assignment, the evaluated activity, you can send me and we are going to have the part of question and answer. Thank you.